Toby Ali is online. He's a dynamic speaker, business management consultant, author, uh, the U.S. certified goal to success coach and a business development specialist. He is passionate about raising world changes that will transform their nation, families, and organizations with universal principles for the benefit of humanity. Uh, this morning, we'll be sharing some top business skills for the post-COVID era. Hello, Lua Toby. How are you doing this morning? Mike on the mic. What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> it's always great to talk to you, man. Yeah, How was your weekend? Well, very hectic. Had some, you know, emergency things that you know had to attend to. Quite hectic, but productive. definitely. Here's me wishing you the best in all in all that you're doing. Of course, we know what happened Thank and all of that. But hey, we're talking post-COVID era. Before yeah. I go on, now I know you are not a medical professional, but a number of people believe that there will probably be there will there will probably be no post-COVID that it is something that we'll have to live with mm. as it stands. Do you share that um, mindset? Do you share that paradigm? Well, I, I don't. I, accurately, I actually even studied anatomy in school. So I, for some reason, I just didn't finish. You know, I just lost interest in medical in, to become a doctor. So I kind of have some overview about that. But what I, what I believe is we are already even in the post-COVID era. That's the truth. And... Uh, uh, things like this, it takes a while before it goes away. You know, if you look at it, there are other diseases that we've just learned how to live with. So the truth is, I don't share that opinion. I believe we are already even in the post-COVID era. Okay. And that whether we like it or not, the way in which we do businesses, the top skills that are needed right now, you know, the way business structures and many things work, it's totally going to be different from what we used to, you know, see before. So people need to brace up and wake up and know that they are not dreaming. This is reality and this is a new reality we need to get, you know, serious about. If not, we probably will, you know, become history. All right. So we know this is a new reality. We're talking about the post-COVID era. And I can understand, yes, of course, after that, um, the explosion. I understand where you're coming from, talking about that this era is already post-COVID. So let's get straight into it. What are those skills that will be needed? What are those things that will be needed in this new world as it stands, in this new normal? What are those things that we need? All right. So now that, you know, one, one, of, the things, uh, one of the things COVID has done, the COVID-19 has done, is that it has reduced... Uh, the need for too much interaction, physical interaction. Mm. So, so um, you know, companies or uh, businesses that thrive on people meeting, you know, uh, either it's a contact thing, uh, those kind of businesses, they need to now realize that because of the restrictions of social distancing and so many other things, the kind of skill set that they will need, especially for their staff, are things that will still make them get their job done but would necessarily will kind of limit a physical contact. So the first skill set that is highly important, which is even one we are using today, even though you know technology tries to play its own part, you know, in terms of my system, we not being able to do video, is remote anything that enables remote working, you know, is a top skill. So mm. whether it's remote collaboration, uh, whether it's remote speaking, whether it's remote teaching, whether it's even uh, remote customer service, even remote workers. So uh, people need to, uh, some of the skills, you know, workers and businesses need to begin to work around is how they can still do their businesses or even upscale it, but do it in such a way that it's remote, that most of, uh, they are going to need to limit physical interactions in the office and even with their customers. So Thank that, you. That yeah, is one skill that is needed. There are about six or seven, but that's the, like the first paramount one that will be needed. Yeah, thank you very much. That's the first one. Okay, let's let's I, I, I because that one is one that doesn't need much. It, it's self-explanatory, of course, remote. In fact, that's why we are talking to you. Probably you might have been here, but hey, we've been talking to you exactly. on Skype, on Zoom, and now even phone calls. So that is one. This is just one example of that yeah. skill you just mentioned. So let's move. Let's see how many uh, more we can take. So another top skill that is needed right now is digital marketing now you know it's also it's not it's also you know something that doesn't need physical contact so unlike before uh, the average there are some small small businesses that all they do is they print out flyers they send out these guys with uh what's their name we skate uh skaters distribute the thing you know put stuff in their in their car or you know, in their bus play music be sharing flyers and stuff like that just to you know uh talk about a new product that has come out or a new service that is not going to work anymore. So now one of the top skills needed will be digital marketing. And like I shared, I think some months ago, I mean a month ago or so, that you know, uh, people now need to focus on advertising where the people are. And fortunately, the people now are online. 
So hmm. the marketing has to be digital, you know, marketing in terms of social media marketing, in terms of email marketing, and so many other things. And unfortunately, when, when even people talk about digital marketing, because I do that training also for some people, people just think it's just, oh, let's just put up a Facebook ad. Let's just put up, you know, an Instagram ad. It's, it's quite deeper than that. Because right now, the follow-up calls, what used to be like follow-up calls now, email has taken over, you know, automated emails will now become the, you know, follow-up calls. Uh, the way in which we try to advertise and, and some of the things they might even need, even in terms of digital marketing, is not only now even limited just to, uh, you know, social media and internet. In them. They might even need to leverage on, you know, platforms like yours, like, you know, the TV for those who can afford it. And for businesses like you also, you, the smart thing right now is knowing that there's a new market, TV stations, media houses, they might need to even begin to look for smaller packages for some little uh, small-scale businesses because right now digital marketing is a much-needed skill if they are going to you know, bring out that word out for people to know exactly what they're doing. Hmm. And uh, one of the things that works for digital marketing is digital marketing cannot work without graphics. So now this is the era of graphics. Uh, and what I mean by graphics, uh, it's not just uh, static graphics. It's actually motion graphics. Uh, I think video is now the new audio. So one of the skill sets needed right now, I, I did a live series for speakers, I think like two weeks ago. I said, this is now, for those who are even like trainers, consultants, this is the era of the trainer presenter. So this is not just a time where you are waiting for people to, you know, come to your training. You almost like, like a mini studio to, on your own, but probably using a digital platform, almost like how I come on your show. You, you understand? So graphics, you know, motion graphics, design, video, is highly needed at this time, you know, uh, because if not, there's no way the world is going to come out. And it has to be of international standard because right now, even the internet is being saturated and it is the quality of what, you know, one projects, that's what will determine the kind of businesses that they are able to attract. Wonderful, wonderful. At this time, I don't have so much to say. I can only say, don't leave me, just like the trend. Just continue, yeah, give us, continue me. giving us. Yeah, but Mike, Mike, when you have Mike and he's on the mic, what do you call that? Ah, when I have Mike on the mic, what mic square, that? double mic. Correct, don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay, all right, so do, let's see if we can take one more. Let's see if we can take one more skill before we round up today. Yeah, so another skill that is highly needed is delivery. So now there are some, there are some, there are some kind of businesses that no matter what happens, you can't do everything digitally. Even if you want to do 3D printing, you want to do whatever it is, some businesses still need things to be delivered. Consumables, for instance, they need delivery. You can't just, somebody needs to deliver it, even if it's a, you know, a drone or whatever. So delivery and logistics right now is also highly needed. You which know, is the reason, which is the reason why Jeff, uh, why Jeff Bezos is, is, is $56 million, uh, $56 billion richer from February up until now, delivery. But we just have to round up here, Oluwa Tobi. It's always, imagine. always a pleasure talking to you. We will continue Amen. with this. It is not the end. It's never the end with you. Thank you very much, Oluwa Tobi Ali. A pleasure. A pleasure. Thank you very Thanks much. For me. All right. Okay. All right. That was Oluwa Tobi Ali. And of course, we're talking about skills and jobs, uh, things you would need for the post COVID era, which we already are into. We'll take a short break now. There's still a little bit more to come on the show. Don't go anywhere.